Noisy GoPro footage? Sometimes, even with good light and the best settings on your GoPro, your footage will look a little noisy due to GoPro's small sensor size. I've been recently using the plugin Neat Video to kind of clean this up and help get a more crisp, sharper, and just clean image that I can use to match up with my other DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. I want to show you how to do the same thing. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're in Adobe Premiere Pro and I have two clips today that I'm going to use to demonstrate Neat Video's noise reduction capabilities. Before you add the Neat Video plugin to your clip, you're going to want to make sure your clips are rendered so that you can scrub through them pretty easily. The reason for this is so that you can find a frame in your clip to build a noise reduction profile from. So what you want to do is just scrub through your clip to find the noisiest portion of that clip. In this case, I would say it's right here. So once you've identified that frame, you're going to look in your effects panel and type in Neat Video. I already have it typed up here. And you're going to drag it to your clip. It should pop up in your effect controls rack. Click Prepare. It might take a few seconds. And then press Build. We're on to building our noise reduction profile. This might take a few more seconds as Neat Video analyzes your clip. You should see this window after it's done analyzing, and you can take your cursor and kind of move it around this frame, and then you can see the different uh, color profiles of the clip. It's pretty cool, actually. To build your own noise profile, what you're going to do is take your cursor and find an open area of noise. In this clip's case, you're going to drag and find an area without any leaves inside of this window that I'm creating. So that's a pretty good area. It says the noise level is 4.7. Let's just show you what happens if I create one with um, an area that's not all clean. As you can see, it says it's not uniform, meaning that there is not uniform random noise. So this is not a good uh, this is not a good part of your clip to build your noise profile from. So you're going to click out of that, and let's go back here find our previous selection. Once you've found that part in your clip, then you're going to press Build Profile up here in the top left. And then it should render and load, and then you should be able to go to the Adjust Preview window over here. And as you can see, you can see the clip with the noise reduction profile that you've just created on your clip. And then if you'd like to see the original clip, all you have to do is click on your clip. As you can see, it is much better in terms of noise. Those red artifacts that you see are all gone. It's definitely smoothed out, cleaned up, and looks a lot more sharp, crisp, and just a lot better in my opinion. You can further tweak it over here in the filter settings. And quite honestly, I don't really do much here, but sometimes I'll go to the spatial filter, and then sometimes I'll add sharpening if I think that it just needs a bit more crispness and you can change the noise level, the noise reduction luminance, but quite honestly, I don't really touch those even, especially for our GoPro clip. This is more than enough, and I'm definitely happy with it. So I'm gonna press apply. And then it should take you back to your Premiere timeline. Now what you're gonna wanna do is render this, and then you can see the noise reduction take effect. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to see in Premiere's playback, so trust me, once you export it, you will see a marked improvement in the noise reduction of that clip. And in this clip's case, I've already rendered it and exported it here for you, so check it out. So for our second clip, I want to show you guys two things. To start, this clip is a lot more dark and it's a lot more noisy than the first clip. It's a test to see how well Neat Video can do for a suboptimal underlit scene such as this one. So just like with our first clip, we're going to scrub through the clip to find a frame that might be a suitable frame to build a noise profile from. Well, in this clip's case, I think any frame will do. So let's just try right here. Then we're going to find our Neat Video plugin in our effects rack, drag it to the clip, press prepare, press build, and here we go. Now in this case, instead of building our own noise profile, because we could easily find one right there, maybe even find one 
for here in the field, if we get lucky, like right there. Instead, we're gonna test out Neat Video's auto profile functionality. So we're gonna go up here to auto profile, and it's gonna look for us. So it says up here is a pretty good area to use to build a noise reduction profile from. So let's let's trust it and let's go over here. And as you can see, it's taken out that angry, crunchy, noisy red particle that's in the clip. And I think it, it'll work. So let's add some sharpening back in. Press apply and let's check it out. Here's the end result for this one. So if you're looking to create more of a cinematic look and feel, or if you're just trying to salvage a grainy, noisy GoPro clip, this plugin works well for both. It's definitely worth the cost the time and effort if you care about those things. And if you don't care about those things, then well, I thank you for making it this far in this video, and please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate ya. And that wraps up our GoPro noise reduction tutorial. I hope this video has helped you out. Please let me know in the comments if it has, and I'll see you guys next time. Ooh, this lighting is nice. This one is